and Sheffield's Dalton Smith is making his first appearance of 2020 tonight after going the full 10 rounds last time out. The unbeaten super lightweight has made the short journey up the M1 where he'll be meeting Ireland's Ray Moylet. And with the belts at the top level likely to be vacated in the near future, that is absolutely worth fighting for. One of these two in victory will take it home. Dalton Smith typically in the blue and white of Sheffield Wednesday. We saw Lee Wood take the final step towards a world title defence at the city ground in Nottingham. Josh Warrington, of course, achieved his dreams. A stone's throw from here at Ellen Road a few years ago. Will this young man eventually pack out 40,000 at Hillsborough down the line? Ray Moylet from Ireland in the green and red of County Mayo looking to throw a spanner in the works, but it's Smith who lands a crisp right hand just under the left elbow of the Irishman. Moylet at centre ring just stalking. It's a patient, calculated start from Smith. Darren, and I mentioned during the ring walks, those 10 rounds he got last time out will have stood him in good stead and given him the confidence to know that he can manage the distance. Invaluable, Chris. You know, it's a huge box tick there for him. Again, just thuds in that uppercut off the jab. Moylet kept the, the guard typically high and tight, and that's really been a hallmark of his offensive now throughout the years. Tucks up very, very tight, makes him hard to unlock, but oh, he did get to 11 0. It's just 15 months before he ran into Mexican Christian Erasquieta at the Royal Theatre in Castle Bar late 2018. He was dropped twice in the fifth round, then it was an uppercut that lifted his head up a stinging left hook that came behind it the kind of combination that smith has, has been looking for over these first three rounds will he find a gap at some point in this contest i think moylet should uh, take a leaf out of dalton smith's book but he's loading up with a one shot too often moylet someone with the class and the speed that we touched on from dalton smith will be able to see them coming so he's got to try and put the shots together quick jab to the body right hand to the head this is a better tempo from moylet at the end of that round right hand to the body as well at some point will the uh, accumulative effect of these precision punches take their effect on the Irishman he's walked into an uppercut there but he fires back with a right hand Smith then just shoots a one-two exits to the right hand side just starting to heat up here with 30 seconds to go in the fourth and again, just shoots that short uppercut through the middle. And that was, as I mentioned, what started the unravelling process against Christian Uruzquieta from Mexico City. But he recovered well when he was down and hurt twice in the fifth round there. And he's a, a tough customer, Ray Moylet. And we knew he would need to be tonight. He's trying to ask Dalton Smith questions when he can. He's letting the hands go, punching with him. Of course, Chris Eubank, super middle, beating him in the rematch to extraordinary achievements that they remember and his brothers. And while the experience Pat Collins has had in boxing, we could talk about all night. Of course, he was in the corner of the night. Kevin McBride stamped out the, the last embers of Mike Tyson. He's seen some extraordinary things over the years, but his man is in trouble here. Moylet just fizzing shot from Dalton Smith, duck with the legs of the Irishman, and now he tucks up. Now he shrugs and just tries to say, I'm OK, but his reaction to that shot said otherwise. And this was the same round that he was hurt the night that he suffered his first defeat in 2018, Darren. And just sensed oh, that yeah. Dalton Smith is having a breakthrough here. Well, he found that right uppercut numerous times in the fourth round. And we've seen it there really shook Moylet with that shot. So accurate to see now the, the speed of the shot from Dalton Smith really is electric with those combinations and we're in a bit of a storm here Mueller got to keep his hands up he's got to move his head because Dalton Smith looking very dangerous at the minute and it's visible the work that Smith is now starting to put in and the the extra spike and source on the shots and it's also visible too the the wear and tear on the face of Ray Moylet really marked up swollen busted up no matter how high and tight he keeps that guard he's just getting countered now from Southport again Smith just shovels that left hand in just spins creates an angle well, this is Packing Collins in the corner of Moylet asking for him to throw more shots and that, that's exactly what I was asking for Moylet but every time Moylet does let his shots go Dalton Smith just has 
the know-how, the speed and the accuracy to counter with that beautiful uppercut and right hook. So it does make you a little tentative to throw the shots at times. It is good pressure on the front foot, but this boxing on the back foot from Dalton Smith really is class. Moylet has been tough, he's been aggressive on that front foot, but has not seen enough of him letting his hands go. Had success with the right hand in the first round, the left hook in the third and fourth, but it's just been the speed and the reactions of Dalton Smith just completely nullified the work of Moylet, who, for me, needs to get close and really try and rough up Dalton Smith now. Try him with that right hand. This is better from Moylet. Missing the two shots there, but he's got to let them go now. And heard Grant Smith in the corner just saying to Dalton Smith, I think they're going to pull him out at some stage now. They have to be looking at him, but that one was really low from... Dalton Smith, I don't think there was any real intent there, but the left hook landed right where you don't want it to, and May Moylet is down and he's hurt. He will have as, as long as he needs to recover here. And that was the second low blow that landed. The first was a couple of rounds ago, and Smith switched the southpaw on the ropes, just shoveled the, the southpaw left hand into the body before spinning out. But I wonder if a point will be docked from the Sheffield fighter here, and well, Moylet would be wise, Darren, to make as, as much of these five minutes as possible. Yeah, they hurt Chris, so I don't know if he if he wants to or he has to, but it was definitely low. He come towards, he jumped in, and Dalton Smith was low, and, and he threw the shot. He's not intended to, to hit low, I'm sure. It was just Moylet's come jumping in. If we see here, look, he's come low, Moylet's gone high, and that, that's what happens. And Oy, they wow. hurt. <laughs> We all felt that. Two point stops. Well, I don't remember ever seeing that before, can you? No, I mean, the referee's really having a stern word to Dalton Smith there. I think saying one more point and you're out. One more and you are out. Wow, how that changes things for, for Dalton Smith. He has to be really, really careful when body punching now. And he is in full control of, of this contest, Darren, but a, a, a strange and unusual moment. Good that Moylet is, is back on his feet. Another one just glanced off the elbows there and, and straight a little low too. Dalton Smith able to pick these shots with real ease and a nice body shot there. He's uh, a bit more accurate since that. Went off and rightly so after the referee saying one more and you're out. So change the levels with the shot well. And another left hand on the belt there. Oh like, my goodness me. That. Well, we're going to have to have a look at that in the replay, but he was warm. One more and you're out. And Moyla is complaining here. We'll try and get a replay of that. Well, on the replay on our screens, looks like it was right on the belt. And again, it was the Irishman closing the space down. And I wonder, uh, collective deep breath was taken by everybody in the arena here. We can confirm it was on the belt line. We'll get the replay for you in between the round. But Dalton Smith now just double jab and the right hand behind it evading. I think, Darren, it may be sensible for him to just try and box two rounds and, and not let the body, do, body shots at all. Do not go to the body. Do not go to the body. You've just got a head hunt now. Well, a really interesting contest that has developed over these ten rounds. Dalton Smith has been firmly in control and looks spiteful. And answer a few of the questions we felt maybe asked of him by Ray Moy. Oh, check left hook as he steps in, drops the Irishman. And there was nothing wrong with that. Beautiful Chris, uh, shot, Chris, it really, really was. Check left hook, as Moylet come in, so accurate with the shot, really was. And his eyes look clear, but his legs betrayed him, and another fizzing left hook lands around the back of it. Is Dalton Smith going to chuck the kitchen sink in now? As Moylet got his legs underneath him. Right oh, hand from Moylet, again. left hook counter from Smith, and the Irishman goes down again, and in comes the towel from Packy Collins. He's seen enough, and they argue in the corner. But he will look back on this and know that he was saved a more difficult fate by a man with much experience who cares a great deal for him in the corner.
Okay, sit down, sit down.